Hello Dragon Ball players, welcome back to day two of Chicago, the Chicago Regional. Um, we'll be starting in just a bit, uh, but before we do, I'm going to introduce my co-host for the day, uh, Ben Lodiz, is that how you say it? Uh, low dice, low like dice. low numbers on dice is the easiest way. Cool, cool, cool. Yep. So uh, how did you find the tournament for yourself? You played yesterday, correct? Oh uh, yeah, I played yesterday. Uh, I ended up 34th, so didn't quite make top 16. Uh, just on the, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, top 32. Almost top 32, old. yeah. All right. Um. What we're going to talk about a little bit uh, is some of the lists that, that did top. Mm -hmm. um, right now, we've got the some guys on stream. Uh, I believe they're both general lair players, um, Joey and Frisco. Um, Joey is playing Super sorry, Super Saiyan Son Goku. Uh, so um, he's playing Surge Coup, and uh, Frisco is playing the new Piccolo Surge decks. Um, did you get to play against any of these decks? Uh, yeah, I played against one of each of those decks. Uh, the... Search Coup deck seems like it was super popular in the tournament. I saw a lot of that. Probably mm -hmm. the most popular deck. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Uh, yeah. uh, and then the, I played a weird variant of the Piccolo deck where he was playing uh, Androids, which was kind of cool. It was a lot very different from a lot of the other builds. Yeah. Um, I think th I, I didn't think they were going to build the Search Coup the way they built the Search Coup. For the most part, people are playing it the same way they played like the uh, Yellow Broly leader mm -hmm. with the apes and all the uh, untap ability. But uh, it, is, it is quite... I'd say... Okay, good. I, I'm not. I'm not uh, pegging it as tier one. Once the format gets settled in, I think it's going to uh, fall off. I think Pickle is going to be one of the best decks. I think Broly is probably going to be the best deck. If anything, it's going to be tier zero. Um, just seeing what it can do, its capabilities. It, it can. People just haven't pieced it together yet, but I think it's going to be pretty explosive. We'll see. It's interesting because like the Clash, uh, Clash Coup, mm -hmm. not Clash Coup, uh, Surge Coup leader just has access to a lot of really powerful cards, being both a red and a yellow leader. Mm -hmm. Uh, having access to the uh, the Vegeta that uh, comes in for three and wipes your opponent's board. Yeah, that card we saw yeah. on the yesterday on the stream. Some crazy plays got done with that card, man. Um, I believe uh, one of the, one of the matches he, um, with that with that card, he wiped a board of like six battle cards, mm -hmm. and they're all like twenty Ks to fit nineteen Ks. It was just like it was nonstop back and forth, and it just it's turn ending, right? Like it's, yeah, it can be so devastating. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, it's very difficult to play around too. There's not really much you can do. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Short of like. Frost Deadly Poison, mm -hmm. but nothing else really interacts with it <laughs> besides that. Yeah, since it's a three drop coming in, exactly. you can't just, you know, uh, get rid of it in a lot of the normal fashion for the Unless counter Unless you're already at four life. Maybe you can, like, beer, uh, not Beerus Ball, but uh, the the blue one, um, Absolute mm -hmm. Release Ball. So you could Absolute it or the green one. The, or, or the black one, yeah. Super Kamehameha Wave. Mm -hmm. but yeah, so let's see in, in this match uh, how it goes. Obviously, they've had a lot of time to play test against each other, mm -hmm. I'm assuming. Um but uh, how do you feel like this matchup uh, matchup actually goes? Because so it'll be really interesting. Uh, the one of the big things, as you notice, so he played the ape out real fast as yeah. opposed to playing it defensively because he's definitely gonna have to get aggressive if he wants to win this mm -hmm. against the piccolo. Yeah, I think it's also a Vegeta the crew that's probably the a really big deciding factor in the matchup because uh, being able to kill those apes and make him warp a card mm -hmm. just makes him break even on the ape. So he technically negged one by losing the ape in his hand, mm -hmm. and then you also get a 15k attacker out of it. Mm -hmm. That's very, very good. I think the Vegeta the Cruel is the make or break in the early game. And then as it gets later in, onto the game, it's just basically the cards you see and how everything goes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Did he just charge a secret? Oh, okay. well, I thought he just charged a secret. I got worried. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it looks <coughs> like... I'm trying to see. Do you have, you have his list over there? Yeah, I do. Can I take a look at this it? This is Joey's that list. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, first goes, yeah. So the only extra card that Joey's actually playing is Flying Nimbus. Okay, that's interesting. No, yeah, that's oh. it. He, yeah, only Flying Nimbus. Oh, no, no, he's got Dimension Mint. Oh, no. Nope, that's, uh, that's oh, wow. Those are his that's very cards. interesting. Yeah. That's pretty unusual for that deck. <coughs> yeah, that's uh, very interesting. Unless maybe he didn't properly put his zones in, but I think that's honestly it. He's only playing three extra cards, which means that he's got uh, tons of combo power uh, if he needs it. So every card in his deck is going to be able to boost up his attacks to potentially kill. So if it does get to the point where he's going for game on the double strike, triple strike, or single strike, he probably will be able to get there, considering mm -hmm. his whole hand will be combo power. One thing I want to point out about uh, Frisco's list for sure is that he's playing uh, Gogeta 7, Gogeta Hero Revived. So that's oh, going to wow. kind of put Joey on a clock mm -hmm. where he has to either get a lot of cards on board or uh, yeah. he can't just stay and build his hand up. He's just going to get Gogeta 7. Absolutely. Then that's, a, that's a big thing that we saw this term, actually. I've noticed more, most Piccolo players aren't playing the Android 16 that lets you ramp mm -hmm. just because they want to have access to that Gogeta package to the... the uh, what's, his, what's his name? Shru, uh, Fu Shrouded in Mystery. Yep, yep. Uh, that Fu's probably one of the um, 
I don't want to, I don't want to say the best finisher in the game, but he's probably he's the one that you can interact with. He's the most unstoppable finisher in the game. You can't do anything to stop him short of like Frost Deadly Poison. It's the only card that hits him. Yeah, and I he's think. very he's very generic too, so you can stick yeah. him in pretty much whatever deck you want. And if you put him in a deck like a like this that ramps a lot, mm. just with the leader ability, right? It's, it's insane. Mm. Be very very powerful. It's powerful. But so we see he has the Beerus in hand here. It's a little bit risky right now. Well, right now he wants to rival things on Frisco's turn so that he doesn't get uh, Vigil the Cruel. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's the main. That's the main idea. But uh, we're gonna see what happens. Looks like does he have? Is that a yellow blue energy down next to the Vegeta? I believe so. Or a yellow, yellow green. Okay, so he does have access to Vegeta the Cruel now. Mm, yeah. He has the green up. So the uh, are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's had it since turn one. He played. He played that multicolor on turn one. Okay. And then played. The, uh, one. Oh, I thought he was playing that card. Maybe so draw cycle. I really like the inclusion of that Goku in his deck because the Piccolo get, doesn't get his ability until he gets down to three life, yep. which is very different He's from very a lot different. of the other ones. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, also, I think it's necessary though because if he could do it on turn two, oh yeah, like, yeah, he'd just start char he'd start start ramping like crazy. It's interesting because it's probably the only surge meter that like really needs a built-in awakener. Yeah. yeah. Right now, yeah, exactly. Right mm -hmm. now, I'm excited to see what they do release in set nine. Mm -hmm. um, all the different surge leaders that are going to come out. I hope that maybe they make a couple wish leaders as well because I feel like. They kind of just made them that first time and just forgot about them. Ever mm -hmm. since they haven't really given them anything since then. But uh, hopefully Wish gets a buff as well. Well, right. they, they got that really cool extra card in the uh, the last set, the one that searches a Dragon Ball. It's a 5k combo and then searches a Dragon Ball from your deck or grave. I can't remember what it's called. It's a yellow extra card. It's oh, yeah, cool. yeah, the one drop extra. Yeah. yeah, the prize is Dragon Balls or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 for sure. No, that card's definitely good. We saw it see a good amount of play in the last event, I think. Um, mm hmm I forget who, and then everyone playing Shenron played it. It was basically just a really good way to recycle your, uh, I think it was four star balls or something. They were, or maybe it was in Kitku. I believe maybe it was in Kitku that we saw it. That's interesting. Yeah, because then it's essentially a 10k. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, that's, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm wrong. It was a very long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we see here Joey almost has Exodia in his energy area. All four, <laughs> all four of those wastes almost there. He just needs one more. Mm -hmm. And he's got monkeys in hand. He's got, ooh, G Ginyu. What do you think that change Ginyu's for? Well, matchup. Hmm, that's interesting. It might be pretty good because in the mirror, because you can swing. He gets really big when you play him, Don't and then he game. takes card from your opponent. And a lot of the mirror in that, I think, is whoever builds up board presence. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because if you can, if you can keep board presence on your opponent, eventually you're going to run them out of cards. Yeah, I guess if you can take away their ape, if they have an ape, um, he hits anything that's twenty k, so he can take away topos potentially if you're in a pinch. Mm -hmm. You can swing for twenty five, and mm -hmm. then. If he hits, he hits. If he doesn't, he gets the topo and swings with the topo as well. So 20k is pretty big. He's a really solid play on turn uh, 5 as well because you can play him while still keeping your 2 energy open, yes. which is a pretty big deal. Yep. And I can't think of really anything else that they play. I guess they play the Vegeta for 3, but other than that, there's not a whole lot of 3 energy plays in the deck. So that's a really, really nice inclusion, I think. He's paying 2 here for something. There it is. That's yep. what we were worried about. Mm -hmm. Does he have a counterplay to that? So he's not at four life, so he can't beer a small it, which is like the only thing that would stop it, I think. Pretty sure that's the only thing that he plays in his deck that would stop yep. it. So he's going to draw a card off the auto before he warps a card. He's going to say bye bye to his monkey. Yep. And we and actually talked earlier, so he doesn't have beer ball in his deck, I don't believe. It was just the Nimbus. So. Oh, sorry. But yeah. that's a side deck thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. That's probably something that will come in game uh, no, two for sure. No, he does not play Oh, he doesn't? Deck, okay. Yeah. Granted, um, we have to remember. Uh, Frisco knows what he has in his main yeah, and side deck. That's not, true. not just because they're part of their teammates, but because they actually get to read each other's deck lists. Oh, yep. Before yep. the match starts, so wow, that's that's, kind of that's especially interesting mm -hmm. in uh, in matches like this where there's so many counters in both decks. Like knowing your opponent's options is really important. Yeah, for sure. It's interesting interesting that they opted to do that though, like to allow your opponent to read deck lists and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It uh, adds that extra level of, I guess high caliber play to it because mm -hmm. you, you know what they play and they know what you play so there, there aren't going to be any surprises it's it's uh, very technical and if you win it's because you earned it not because you luck sacked off a top deck that your opponent didn't know that you played mm, yeah i'm always a big fan of anything that increases the skill level of a mm -hmm. tournament so I'm, I'm i do like that they let you see your uh, list and it also it, it kind of takes away from like well maybe your friend played him earlier in the tournament so they got to know what was in their deck and then a friend tells a friend and it just gets mm -hmm. rid of all of that so exactly yeah. But right now, I think 
I think if Joey doesn't press on the gas pedal a little bit, he's going to be in some trouble. Yeah, he's he's lo- he's losing in in board presence here, which is not good if you're yeah. trying to be aggressive. Well, even card advantage, I believe, like Frisco has a Bible in his hand, and I don't think Joey's hand is that big. Mm-hmm. That's the one thing about a Piccolo is you get you just get two cards every turn without yeah. having to discard one. And there's the Surge Awaken. Uh, okay. We'll have to see whether he chooses to ramp here. That put him at five energy, right? Yes. Uh, well, if he's going to be put at five energy now. Mm. But I think he's going to pay four for the Piccolo, the piccolo first, yep. of course. Yep. And it's not going to bother him because he gets to play an energy with his leader ability. Mm-hmm. He's going to swing on the monkey, I think. And right into the Topo. Mm-hmm. So unfortunately, the Piccolo is not going to net any value just yet. However, if um, if Joey can just bide his time, I think the Piccolo is going to get a free kill on the Bardock or the Topo. Yeah, for sure. Next attack there um, on his own turn because yeah. uh, Frisco passed his turn. Tapped out mm. also. I'm not sure. If it's interesting that he went. He, he, he tapped out to play. I guess it stalls, stalls him even more, which is nice. And he's not playing Dimension Magic, so he can't Sparking Negate. So this is interesting. Or, or no, this is not his list. This is, what is his list? Oh, it's over here. Sorry. Yeah, so he probably is playing Dimension Yeah, he is playing Dimension Magic. So okay, I yeah. got the wrong list. So yeah, yes. Okay. He's playing Dimension Magic, so maybe that's what he's opting for. He's going for the Take a Life on mm-hmm. Tuck 2. He's also playing Four Zenzu Bean, and he could Surge on his opponent's turn to put that energy out there. He could. So then he has access to his energy through Zenzu Bean, yeah. He could just be maybe... Uh, Maybe holding it, holding it in case um, Joey plays something that might be able to tap his energy mm-hmm. if it's there. So he'll do it off the swing instead. Mm-hmm. And here's the Beerus okay. choosing to pop the Vegeta, getting closer and closer. And he pops that. So Bond 2 is actually turned off now. Yep, yep. So he can do it. So for Joey's playing very, very well right now. Mm-hmm. That's very important because now most of the things that even put cards in play on his opponent's turn for Frisco... Uh, have to do with responding to things coming into play as well. Exactly. So it's not like he can just untap energy and put something in play. Mm -hmm. And right now, um, I think Joey's in probably a very good position. Mm -hmm. Um, Tapping out for that Piccolo, just to have those two Beerus's blow them up is probably worst case scenario Mm -hmm. for Frisco right now. Yeah, having having the fact that he had two Beerus's when he even charged one earlier in the game was really good there. Yeah, although I think uh, that nail comes into play, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Comes into play, he mills two, and he has that Again. Mm-hmm. So now on the next attack, unless uh, Joey has a way to get rid of it, he's going to be popping something with his uh, his Piccolo. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of unfortunate because he doesn't really have the time uh, not to attack because if he doesn't push now yeah. and gives uh, Frisco another turn, he only has like five cards in hand. So yeah, if he gives yeah. Frisco another turn, I think it's going to be too far gone. And he, he has to take advantage of the fact that he's tapped out now too. He yep. has to force... Yep. force him to take a life or to do something here. And he's going to Surge Awaken. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably a good play. No, untap one. Okay, draw so three. He's probably gonna negate the Piccolo with his leader ability then yep. if he chose to surge there. That's oh, actually no, he can't because I believe you need to have, uh, you need to be a five life to do that. And he's at six, I believe. Yep, that yeah. might be the case. I believe so. But uh, okay, so either way, so he got rid of it. Okay, there's a dimension magic coming out, so he's gonna have energy untapped, but he does have to take a life for it, which puts him in double strike range. So if you have five or less life, yep, yeah, okay. so he's not actually in range for it just yet. Mm. So it's interesting. This is a uh, technically a game-threatening attack here. We'll have to see how he responds. Uh, here it is. And if you play one, you just, just the combo out. Interesting. Okay. He's in that double strike range now. Yeah. So if he doesn't negate this, uh, Joey could go all in. And I don't think uh, blue-green at this point plays anything that can pop something on? He that's just said no combos. That's interesting that he didn't combo at all with that. Uh, he's tapped out, so he can't play. He can't combo his board, like the Beerus that's on board. Because mm-hmm. he, he could have swung with the ape and comboed both Beeruses he had on board there if he had some energy. But fortunately, he's all tapped out. So he's going to surge and get a buff. Or no, he's going to... Oh, wow. He can do it twice a turn. I forgot about that. Uh, I thought that was a once per turn effect. But it's not. All right, so he's going to go down to one. I don't know, once maybe. So even even after all that, I still think that uh, Joey's in a pretty good position he here. He's at six life. Yeah. He is tapped out, though. So if uh, mm. Frisco has a bomb here to play. That's true. 
Although he can no longer play Gogeta 7, which is very, very important because he has true. to take a life for it. Granted, um, Joey's hand's at 5, so minus 2 is not oh, yeah, I guess the that's end true. of the world. Yeah. I don't think that's the right you take anyways. Mm. Um, he charged the Gogeta 7. Yeah, yep, right there it two. is. <laughs> Pace 4 for another Piccolo. Okay, okay so he's going to definitely start clearing board right now. Yeah, that's that's really yeah. good right here. He's going to go there into the Topo, probably pop up Beerus and the Double Strike. Um, or probably both Beerus because the Double Strike doesn't really matter anymore. Yeah, that's true. It's probably pop both the Beeruses. So I think he's, he pops the... Uh, okay, so he chose he chose the, the might eight. Be a mistake, but it's all good. We'll see. If he loses by 5k, we'll know. <laughs> yeah. That's also relevant because... Uh, did he draw two? Um, I don't think he did. I didn't see him draw any cards. Is it is it mandatory? I don't know that, to be honest. Yeah. You know what the pickle's name is? Uh, nope. Drawing card. If you do it's mandatory, yeah. He probably did draw a card. Yeah. That's up to you. Mention yeah. it. I'll yeah, mention yeah. it just in yeah. case. Just so we can double check here. Yeah. Oh, uh, um. Did Joey draw off his Piccolo pops? Because it's mandatory. The Piccolo popping. I didn't okay. see the drop the second one. That's yeah, right. I said I didn't see the drop the second one either. It's mandatory, so. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I was checking too. Because you, if it was optional, you could miss it. But. Let's see. So it looks like he's defending himself from some piccolo attacks. It's interesting that he's choosing to attack with these piccolos. When, uh, because that puts them in some sort of threat. I guess he's worried about the leader negating them. So now he doesn't have a board at all. Which yeah, is which scary. is. And it's going to be difficult to build one, too, with yeah. the Piccolos. It was the only thing Frisco could have done, in all fairness. Um, mm. I think if he gets a third Piccolo on board, there's just nothing Joey can do at that point, unless he has a, a creature with barrier that can swing for a lot of damage. Is he playing the 10-drop the food, do you know? Um, uh, Joey? Or, yeah, Joey? Uh, yeah, Joey. Dimensional Banisher foo. It doesn't look like he's playing the other food. Oh, he is. Okay. He's playing two of them. So that's kind of his win condition now. Or no, that's Dimension the Dimensional Banisher. Yeah, Never no, mind. that's the one that... Uh, okay, okay. so he chose to play Mira instead of playing mm -hmm. the big 10-drop Foo. He's playing... Swing with his leader. He's going to go down to level 5. So now his um, abilities are alive. And mm -hmm. he can give plus 10k crit. Yep, that's true. And he can also, the other one is uh, negate the board. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Either way, it's fine. Uh, okay. um, so yeah, he doesn't have the four weeses in energy. So I don't know how he's going to win. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not yet, at least. I, but we did see Frisco had the had the secret at the beginning of the game, right? I believe I so. I remember he have, him having yeah, it in yeah. his hand. Mm -hmm. So if he could actually pump that out right now, it'd be pretty insane. Yeah, because that's something that can't be killed by the Piccolos. It says when it comes out, it can't be KO'd? No, but Piccolo can only kill something five or less, I believe. Really? Yeah. He's not as broken as you thought. I mean, he's still pretty he's broken. He's still pretty <laughs> broke. Yeah, uh, five energy less, costs five or less. So if he plays a Seeker Rare... But yeah. other than the Seeker Rare, I guess he can't pop Mira either. That's Frisco, so you're looking at the... Uh, no, I'm, ju I'm just yeah. seeing if he has other things that can't be popped by the Whis. Because Heartfelt Flea can be popped. I mean, the seven can be popped. If he overwhelms and just hard taps 7 for the for the Gogeta and doesn't have Sparking 10, that's still a 30k double striker. That's triple, true. Triple striker, sorry. That's true, yeah. 
So I mean, that's that might be a play. Yeah, and it has. Uh, although if he does that, he could surge away the triple strike. He could surge away the triple yeah. strike, and well, the triple does it triple attack or dual attacks? Uh, attack. it's just single attack, for the Gogeta. Oh, sorry, you mean? Wait, what do you mean? I'm talking about the secret. Rare. Oh, oh, yeah. No, the yeah, secret yeah. is double strike and uh, triple attack, so mm -hmm. he could take away both those things and just yeah. take two points of damage because he would restand after, uh, mm -hmm. even after getting his ability nuke. Dual attack is already pending, so it would untap him. Yep. But um, he would lose. Uh, he would lose that third attack, and he would lose the uh, double strike, mm -hmm. being a, and the critical. And that would probably still be fine for Frisco because he's got to force out those uh, those surge Absolutely. abilities anyways. And if he has to use them defensively, then yet obviously he's not winning the game with them. Mm -hmm. I think when you have this many Piccolos on board, it gets really difficult to uh, just accomplish things. Yeah. yeah. Every time you try to play something, it just dies. And after a certain point for Joey, it's not even worth playing anything. Mm -hmm. I think maybe you just go all in with your leader. Like, Yeah, that's true. I mean, 10K. he's only got one life left, so yep. it's not like you need a bunch of attacks. And he's a, you are at three, so you have maybe maybe another turn if you have like maybe a negate in hand or something. Mm -hmm. You know, he plays Nimbus, obviously. Yeah. But... Uh, Probably, probably the best line for him now is to attack with his leader, see if he can draw it negates, and then try and play his Mira. I don't think the leader draws when he attacks. He's done drawing now. Uh, yeah. d no, no, draw out your opponents from their negates from their hand. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. And um, because yeah, exactly, if go. he plays the Mira too early, it's just gonna get negated. There's the cooler. He actually negated oh, okay, it. Oh, so okay, cool. He wants to go all in. All right, yeah. Oh, he here it is. Yeah, he can't. I think he just wins. Yeah. Probably yeah, there's unless nothing, uh, there's nothing you can do to stop that. Uh, well, one thing he could. You said he has the secret rare, right? He does. The secret pops. The, the secret pops. Blue the secret pops on your opponent's mm -hmm. turn. Pops anything? Uh yes. That doesn't have a restriction on it. So if Frisco doesn't have that. He's dead. If he yeah. does have it, he's had it since the beginning of the game. And, and oh, oh, that also does it. Oh my God. Yep. All right. Yikes. I didn't even realize. Oh yeah, because he's he's playing tricolor. That's rough. Yeah. See, I was wondering why um the Piccolo player from yesterday was I think he was also playing yellow in mm -hmm. it. And I asked him like, why do you play yellow? He's like, it's very very situational. Mm -hmm. It'll help you like maybe in five percent of the games. Mm -hmm. I guess this is the five percent where. Yeah, that that Broly's really strong. Hundred uh, percent. Yeah, the ability to kill like that, and also to. Uh, the ability to tap your opponent's energy is something not a lot of decks have access to. That's yeah. a lot of power. Um, uh, did he, he didn't combo his hand, right? Uh, uh yeah, Joey he comboed did. his whole hand out, I no believe. Way. Why? That's into his, his leader. Oh, that's his. Oh, that's, that's his leader right. attack. Oh my yeah. god, he had that many cards in hand. Yeah, yeah, he had quite a few. What the heck? He scoops it up. Yep, takes it that was it right yeah. there. Yeah. There's something. Yeah, I think he got down to one way too fast. That's, mm -hmm. what, that's what got him. Yeah, I mean that's how he's gonna win. Is he just has to be aggressive. Very early. Yeah. I think winning the die rolls also a very big part of it. As yeah, well. that's definitely true. That's just how it is. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, I think. Uh, what do you think the side deck game is going to be for um, Joey and Frisco here? Because I don't think Joey sides in objections. He just can't ramp anymore. He might side in the. Um, he has Ultra Instinct Unstoppable in his side deck. The uh, uh, Ultra into Goku from the draft box. That's probably that coming in. Throw back the big threats he plays, but mm -hmm. it's more mid range, mid range spam. So that card doesn't have as big as a, of a place. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think for sure the C the baby Janimba corrupt coalescence secret rare is probably coming in for Joey because it's something that oh, can't be blown up. One hundred percent. Also, probably the two denial of hopes because that can stop the Piccolos. It can also stop the um, Vegeta the Cruels mm -hmm. if he's trying to get his apes on board. Mm. Because <coughs> you're not worried about swing back against these decks. Like they're they're not going to kill you on turn three, four. Yeah, or you've got time. Maybe even five, they might not kill you. Mm -hmm. So, oh, he's also has he has, does have the ten drop Fu Shouted and Mystery in his side as well. That's, so that's, so that's probably coming, that's coming definitely in. coming in. Yeah. That, yeah. Um, he has nothing to interact with that. So yeah, yeah. So that's something. And since he has to go down to three to use his ability. That becomes a kill shot pretty easily. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, Frisco also has the Fu Shroud and Mystery in his Does he? Yeah, and he's probably going to get there f way before Joey does with all the ramp. Ability. That is true, yeah. So if uh, Joey gets there, he can potentially just turn off um, uh, Frisco's. Uh, sorry, if Frisco gets there, he can potentially just turn off uh, Joey's turn and vice versa as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are very, very devastating. But one thing to remember about that is that it doesn't turn off leaders. And since they're both playing Surge leaders, that's pretty relevant some of the time. Yeah. So... I think I think the critical is very very big on the uh, Goku, especially when you're just pushing from four life to two life. Mm. You double strike and you give him plus ten k. Mm. That's, that's insane value. It'll, it'll either force their awaken or it'll force them to, uh, if they're already awakened, use their one of their surge abilities to give themselves that ten k. Yeah, well. it's especially good against the surge leaders because they don't become fifteen k mm. till much later in the game compared to a lot of other leaders. Yeah, there it's a very interesting concept they did they made here with these surge leaders. Mm -hmm. I was disappointed. The Kefla one seems to be very very underwhelming. Mm. It's not very many people are playing it, and I guess for good reason. It's not. It's not the best card. 
Yeah, the the problem with that leader, it, it's I I was testing with that leader actually a little bit, and it's it's very good, it's very aggressive, but it has a problem with Vegeta, the th the the red Vegeta, because the red Vegeta just wipes your entire board. Nukes it. Yeah, and uh, you, you don't really. You could play Frost Deadly Poison though. You can, but the problem is the deck has to be aggressive to win, so yeah. you can't really just leave three mana untapped like that. Well, you could play uh, the Veggie Engine, couldn't you? The you sit you six veggies in, in there. You that's what you play, yeah. But yeah. you need to, or are you talking about the red green ones or the blue yellow ones? Blue yellow. Okay, yeah. you can, but I mean, you need. Uh, it's just not as good, you think? Yeah, well, no, no, that's fine. You actually have to play that. Uh, it only puts in play blue and yellow universe sixes. The Kefla leader. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Cool. So, uh, but because yeah. uh, uh, you could just after turn three, typically I don't even charge when I play that deck because, mm -hmm. and I just have my three energy open because I'm comboing everything for free. Mm -hmm. So I think if you play like a high enough ratio of one top 10Ks and just focus on that and obviously play the Chompa so that you play them for free and stuff, mm -hmm. you can get away. And you can also, you can also can you include cards in that deck with that, that aren't Universe 6? Yes, you can, which uh, is very, obviously thing. very good. It also... Opens uh, up Overrealm, which is insane. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be interesting. We're getting the new hit in the new set that uh, it unawakens your leader, your opponent's leader. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you, it's a seven drop. You can play for one less for each uh, Universe 6 on the field. Wow. Oh so my God. yeah, that's that's a pretty cool. Yeah, Kami's gonna spike in price, guys. Thing. <laughs> buy your buy your foil commies now. There you go. They're gonna go from uh, two dollars to three dollars. <laughs> but uh, game two, uh, Frisco going first. I think it's gonna be pretty big because again, he's ramping harder. Yeah, and it just makes it easier to ramp when you're already had that one energy essentially. Absolutely. Mm. So let's see here. So I think it's going to be real key for Frisco to keep his life up this time. Yeah, and you love seeing these guys play. Like Frisco and, and Joey are both such seasoned players. They mm -hmm. they're so good at the game. Like very very little time you'll see like a, a misplay or, or just bad play in general. It's always like very very well done. Like most players would have probably comboed out their hand on that Mira, out of yeah. being nervous, right? But yeah. he just kept cool and kept everything in his hand and dumped his uh dumped on his opponent mm -hmm. on it with his later attack. Got uh, got through the uh, negate. With mm -hmm. the cooler, which is pretty good because that cooler, yeah. yep, big value. Seeing seeing some interesting tech cards from both of them with the Broly and the cooler. Yeah, this uh, format would be very different if Bad Ring Laser was still a thing. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. <laughs> well, that that leader can play the uh, the new Bad Ring Laser that only works on counter attacks. Costs two energy instead of one, but uh, and it's only accessible by red leaders. But it's one of the advantage of playing a dual color leader is you get a bunch of extra that kind of stuff. Yeah, for sure. Not a lot of time magic we've seen though with these dual color leaders. People don't really want to play time magic. Mm -hmm. I feel like obviously Nimbus is probably better, and uh, in situations, it's pr I think it's Nimbus is better in more situations than mm -hmm. than ti dimension magic is. Especially in the current meta. Mm -hmm. It's 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 wide meta. I've been saying it all week, mm -hmm. uh, all weekend. It's a uh, wide board meta where mm -hmm. you just go wide and swing with a bunch of stuff. That's why Hatchiak yeah. excels the way he does. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if Hatchiak runs into blue green, uh, blue green like uh, sixteen ramp with mm -hmm. the end of twenty one. There's nothing you can do. So you don't have to tell me about that. I, that was my match on stream uh, last round yesterday. So yeah. <laughs> that was you. Yeah, yeah that's rough. <laughs> uh, that's rough. Were you the? I was the Hatchiak player. Oh so my God. yeah, it wasn't yeah. great. <laughs> it was rough. I was actually saying like if you uh, if you had top deck the Demigra instead of the Foo mm -hmm. on that last turn when you played the Demigra, you yeah. probably had the game. Yeah, I needed I needed the Foo, but I just couldn't get to it. Yeah, you gotta play more in your side deck, man. That's the best card. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, most. Most unstoppable finisher in the in the format. Oh, the definitely, game. yeah. That card's very, very good. I just throw him into everything I play. <laughs> well, why wouldn't you? There you go. Next next tournament, you say it will have a baby coming at me with a uh, a foo in their deck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, you can get there. <laughs> <laughs> and the worst part about that is for like the hatchback matchup, it's really not even that bad of an idea. <laughs> it's not that bad of an idea, man. That and the the triple attack foo's uh, much better though, like against against the. Uh, Hatchyak in general, because if you eat Hatchyak's hand away, he just mm. kind of slowly dies. Yep, yep. Because if you can Fu on turn four and like somehow Fu on turn five or six, mm -hmm. uh, the Hatchyak player is probably dead. Let's charge the Vegeta here. Mm -hmm. I don't not not very good in this matchup. Yeah, I was gonna say that's probably a good decision. There's Everyone. not a whole lot of things to hit. I think for Skuller in his lesson, he's not gonna waste his time with. Uh, the small guys that can get blown up, he's probably just going to go straight into the Piccolo, then into another Piccolo the turn after. Mm. But he's going to play this just to get that draw. Mill. Milled one Piccolo, so there's one gone. Oh, no. 
I'm sure he's got one in hand. They're so crucial. And I also, like I said, that press that Vegeta is going to go up. It's 55 mm -hmm. now, but next week it's going to be like 67. Interesting. Is that the anti-untap oh card? Oh my god. That's so powerful. Yep, he can't untap. Mm. So that's a very strong side. Um, it was obviously coming, but I think it's going to get Vegeta the Cruelled. But even if he does Vegeta the Cruel it, yeah. I mean, I would have ailed it. I think yeah. the other still activates. Yeah, no, it does. That's interesting they play that so early, though. I imagine he'd want to play that later for the most part. I think he wants to just focus on stunning his opponent because if Frisco gets to uh, play like a something on turn two mm. and then has maybe just one energy open and then it can use Sensu Bean or use uh, Dimension Magic. He doesn't want him to kind of get exactly. rolling. Oh, there's oh, two Piccolos. Saw the Piccolo and he created it away. That's I unfortunate. I say that play t ended up paying off pretty big yeah, for him. Big time. Yeah, you definitely want to bridge the cruel, the uh, critical guy. Mm -hmm. Charging a Nimbus, of course. They're common Nimbuses, so uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Proof that you don't have to have uh, high rarity to top events. <laughs> Meanwhile, his graveyard is worth like $100. I was going to say, yeah, you say that, <laughs> and I'm looking at like $300 <laughs> on the board right now. <sighs> Interesting. Okay, so he's playing Assimilate. Oh, because so he's Super using him to get the little one drop. What do you feel, uh, how do you feel about Special Beam Cannon in this deck? It's interesting. I feel like the pretty much every all the leaders draw too many cards right now for it to be good enough. Mm -hmm. But uh, if we get more generic discard effects, maybe? And yeah. that in that case, you, yeah, you'll be using the I think the, the other side discard too. The, the the game has snowballed way past hand control mm -hmm. to a certain extent. Like everyone's drawing a million cards every turn, and it just gets it just gets really really rough. To yeah, win. a good player will manage even through like the the hardest hand control. A good player will be able to maintain a seven eight to six card hand mm -hmm. regardless. The the one thing that is nice about it though, I'll say, is that it's a random card, which is really good. It so is. you have the potential of sniping important cards out of your exactly. opponent's hand. That's probably that's uh, probably one of the best. Like uh, same with Phantom Flame Cannon for her mm -hmm. regard. Mm -hmm. I've tried so many ways to try to make that deck work uh, turbo like hand control. Yeah, it's just very difficult with uh, the current meta. Everything's so powerful. Mm -hmm. It just out uh, it, get, it gets outscaled. Mm -hmm. Those yeah. apes in grave in drop area though, yep. pretty big. Yep, that that'll draw him extra cards even after he's awakened, yep. which is very nice. And it's not like he does anything with the energy anyways. Yeah, yeah. Once all the Bardock apes have been played, they've been played, and it's kind of, mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah, at that point, you only really need, like, two energy to interact on your opponent's mm -hmm. turn anyways. Get my points here. <laughs> <laughs> we got 200 people watching. Shout out to all you guys. Hope everyone's having a great day. Mm -hmm. Enjoying some Dragon Ball early in the morning or late in the afternoon, depending where you are. <laughs> Yeah, it's always fun to to go to these uh, these regionals to see this high level play. 100%. It's something you don't always get to see when you yeah. go to locals and stuff. Chevron's there in general. Like I love those guys. They're they're all awesome. They mm -hmm. always come out to a, a lot of the regionals I go to, so it's always nice uh, interacting with them. A lot of them actually top this event. Uh, I think maybe four of them, three or four of them. I know three for sure because mm -hmm. they're uh, these guys. Then uh, also Jose. Jose actually top playing baby. Nice. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's nice to see. It's kind of cool because we got a nice balance of uh, some of the good teams coming in, and there was quite a few local uh, guys that topped too, which is mm -hmm. nice to see. I know we had two guys out of Wisconsin, and I think two guys out of Minnesota that topped cool. as well, which is nice. pretty cool to see. All the guys from uh, from my from Ottawa, they mm -hmm. all scrubbed out. <laughs> Super rough. <laughs> It's also cool to see there was a pretty good amount of deck variety in the tournament. Oh, yeah, for sure. Even in the top cut, like, mm -hmm. there was maybe five or six different decks. Yeah, which is really, really nice to see. Thanks to the Surge leaders, of course. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it would have been just, I think, Baby Hatchyak, Janembas. Yeah, those three. Maybe, I, I think that the uh, Yellow Broly leader might still be able yeah, to keep up, too. Of yeah, of course, of course. That goes without saying. That leader is still arguably one of the best leaders in the game. Mm hmm. It turns out the ability to stand up any card is pretty that's good. Pretty good. <laughs> Drawing two. Pot of greed every attack. Kind of yeah, good. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Self-awakening. We just go yeah. down and tick off all the good things on yeah. the leader list. What, what do you want? You want to play Bloodlust? Sure. <laughs> you play, play Bloodlust? All right, go, go ahead. It's <laughs> all you. It's that one, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So now he's... Oh, it's interesting. So he's attacking with the Vegeta. Or, no, the Bardock tapped the Vegeta. Never mind. Mm -hmm. I thought he was going to go to Awaken. And I was like, oh, you want to keep my six, maybe? Mm-hmm. And it does look like uh, Frisco is trying to keep his life higher a little bit more this game. Yeah, you can he's see. doing a very, very good job. Right now, if he had a Piccolo in hand, he could just straight up play it, but mm. I don't think he has one. Which is yeah. why one hasn't hit the board yet. Mm -hmm. He did mill two to in his drop, and his Gojita, two of his Gogeta 7s are in the energy. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of his threats are just missing him. 
Yeah, that's interesting. I'm surprised. I wonder if he has another Gogeta 7 in his hand. Uh, uh, doesn't? No. Oh, yes, he does. It's he sec does? second okay. from the right. right. Yep. So he's, he's got that option in yep. next turn, I believe. So he could potentially just pressure with those 10 Ks he has on board mm. and just put him down to 4. Um, survive the swing back. He's got a Vegeta Cool. He does have a Piccolo in hand as well. He does, yeah. Okay. I don't know why he wouldn't play it. I'm, I'm wondering, so, yep, and that's why. Because if you look, he's got both his Denial of Hopes mm -hmm. in hand. So he's so probably going to hold that until, yeah, until he, he can get him to tap out. Right. Yeah. I see. Oh, and there's the well, uh, Gogeta straight up 7. Gonna do it. All right. Uh, well, and the Champa comes out. Mm -hmm. Big plays. I think that's okay, though. I think that play is still fine. 100%. You, yeah. just, you just made him lose about five cards, probably. Mm. So he lost five cards. And you put a big presence on the board that he can't really answer. Barrier. Yeah. Still has to... And also, he goes up to four. So, yeah, Chomp is definitely the, 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 the only play to do when... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Sevens, 100%. Yeah. You have to. Otherwise, you just get put far behind. That extra card does go a long way, plus a 15 attacker. Mm. And you get the threat of the triple strike 30k off the board. Because right now he'd yeah. be taking the damage if he didn't do it. Mm -hmm. And I think Frisco's turn is just over after this, unless he Surge Awakens. Oh, Surge there Awakens, yep. So now he can have access to uh, still have energy open. Going to draw three, untap one. Hopefully, untaps the multicolor. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. And he's going to have the option to charge another one. And have two open. He's got the Champa in hand. Mm -hmm. I don't. Th he has the Nimbus as well. Okay. He has the Nimbus, but no yellow currently. Yeah, and he yeah. didn't untap the yellow with mm -hmm. his leader, so he doesn't have access to it. And he won't be. Ha we won't be having access to it either. But oh, he drew the. Uh, he drew the Mira. Is that what that was? He drew the uh, five drop Goku that uh, that comes in when you awaken offering. Ooh, okay, that was really good then. Yeah, if he, he draws a Beerus, he can, oh. he can go pretty hard. And it goes. Never mind. Okay. Right, we have so it doesn't look like he wants to do that. He's got a Topo in hand. He's got a, a Tien in hand. I saw. Mm -hmm. He's going to swing onto the Vegeta the crew, try to clear that board. Because yeah. he, he, he anticipates the Piccolo, I assume. But th the fact that that Gogeta 7 is on board, mm. just as good as having the Piccolo on board. Yeah, and he can't, he can't even negate the triple strike for the first attack because mm. he's at 6 life. This is looking like it's probably going to go into game 3 of Frisco Man just to get another mm -hmm. um, Piccolo on board. Because he's going to slowly start whittling away at Joey's advantage. Mm -hmm. Um can force the Awaken as soon as possible. Because Joey's going to keep drawing cards with these mm -hmm. monkeys. Drop air, he's got at least one more. Mm -hmm. So he's already built up his hand back to where it was before he got Gogeta 7. Mm -hmm. So the draw power with this deck is insane. There we go. The negate. It's fair to think that he might just pass his turn. Yeah, there yeah. He wants to keep... So I'm wondering what... Let's see. I saw a, p I saw a ape... A topo. He's got a pen of Joey's hand here. Let's be able to take a look. Oh, yes. okay. Mm. He has uh, the Bardock. He doesn't have the denial. So Frisco okay. opts to go in for it. Yeah, then he's, he's going to get it down. He'll be able to tap it with the Champa, but he won't be able to actually answer it immediately. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, being a, I think he prioritized tapping the Gogeta probably first. Mm -hmm. So he might want to attack with it. He's going to just straight okay. drop it. He's just going to drop it. I don't know if it's cool. It's probably worth chomping just to get rid of that Gogeta. He kind of misplayed by not attacking first, but he chooses not to. Mm hmm. So, I don't know if he has a negate or something, or if he wants to take the damage. Uh, it looks like he just yeah, wants he to topo. Topo, that's fair. Yeah. That, yeah, that's that's fair. Mm. It's probably better play because that way he gets to attack. Mm. That's why he's on that top table. I'm not. <laughs> it is interesting that he chose to go D to seven kind of early, Very while early. he was still at six life. That well, uh, that may come back to bite him a little bit. I mean, when does it hurt having a? Triple uh, triple strike thirty k on board for the whole like that. The longer that card's on board, the more that is true. It's going to be. That is true. And eventually he's gonna run out of topos. That's mm -hmm. that's what I always say. You know, eventually he's gonna run out of topos, and I'll stop. I'll stop getting topos. Mm -hmm. But I've been topo for four turns straight. Once, <laughs> time, so yeah, that does happen. It just happens, and you feel bad. Yeah, and then on the fifth turn they play a Nimbus, and you're like, all right, well. This is all right, well, sick. I had fun playing. I had fun <laughs> playing this card game. I guess. <sighs> Go play solitary or Uno or something. <laughs> so he drew the denial a little bit late. But yeah. He's got like a Nimbus in hand. He's got he's got a pretty gassed up hand. Mm -hmm. That does mean if he finds a way to answer the Piccolo, he'll have an answer for the fourth one, though. He will, but I don't think short of it getting tapped by like a Chompa, there's no other way to interact with it. I don't think barriers mm -hmm. pretty strong right now. Very few uh, playable cards have ba barrier, mm -hmm. um, but the ones that do are usually blue. The, the the leader gets around barrier, right? The effect negation. And if yeah, the effect negation yeah. does, okay. but 
even at that, that's committing a lot. Yeah, that is forces. is committing a lot to do it. But granted, it could be pay, it could pay mm -hmm. off. If he sees the fourth one get milled, probably the move is to. Uh, mm -hmm. And it looks like he comboed his board so that he couldn't start uh, using the piccolo, I believe. When he attacks with his leader. Yeah, just to yeah. make sure that damage. I think now it's just uh, going to be a set one Vegeta, attack you with my leader kind of, yep, kind yep. of mood. <laughs> yep, until he until can get to one of his big bombs that just can't be popped by Piccolo. Yep, although I'm not sure how big Frisco's hand is. He might have a few cards in hand because he isn't getting he hasn't gotten a draw yet mm. with those uh, battle cards. But everything that was on uh, Joey's board netted him some advantage. So it's not like he negged off uh, getting rid of his board. Yep, yep. The Topo got him a turn, mm. uh, despite it making him discard a card. The uh, Ape obviously drew him a card, mm -hmm. and the Champa drew him a card as well, after the Gogeta. Mm. <sighs> yeah, for getting uh, Gogeta, his hand's looking actually pretty healthy. Mm -hmm. Gonna take the one, then Gogeta's gonna say, I'll hit you for three if you'd like. Interesting. He's got the uh, cooler in hand, Joey does. So oh, he does, okay. That's so That might be very important here. So if he, if he thinks he can out-combo him, Okay. Granted, he's got a good amount of work to do, and there's the Nimbus. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to discard. I'd imagine not. He does have all his energy open. But you don't want to not discard and have it bite you yeah. later. I think since he has a Chompa, the best play here, yeah, and he chooses not to discard. Because even if he does drop the Seeker Rare, you can just Chompa it. I mean, we can't forget, the 6-drop Fu is coming, man. If, that is uh, true. That is true. If uh, if Joey gets it, he just wins. Mm -hmm. like, there's nothing Frisco can do to interact with it unless he put in. We know he doesn't play uh, Frost Deadly Poison. Mm -hmm. So not even in side deck. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of rough. No. No. Joey's playing around with his drop area. I thought that was his hand. <laughs> I believed it. I believed it. There you go. Oh, interesting. He goes opts to charge the denial. I think he thinks that if uh, Frisco had it, he'd have played it last turn. That's fair. Right. And since there's only one left anyways. Ooh, okay. big hit. There's the TN. I think Frisco left his energy open in in case of the TN. Mm -hmm. Because now it's going to be uh, it's gonna be a question of, do you have enough to stop me? Mm -hmm. Being at three life and all. This is where Piccolo, it gets kind of scary for Piccolo. Yeah, yeah. You can actually lose the game just because your life isn't very high. He can ramp. No, no, he has the option to. Mm -hmm. If he'd like to just ramp at three life. And Joey's hand is looking pretty stacked. He's got the change Ginyu, so he could. S no, he can't steal anything because everything's oh, barrier. Oh, you know what he could, he could do? That would be cool. He could negate and then, and then <laughs> steal the Piccolo. I mean, that'd be the highlight play of the year, I think, if he yeah. did that. But let's not get carried away here. <laughs> <laughs> he That's definitely what he's doing. That's awesome. Change. Oh, oh no, no, he's, he's put, put it underneath. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd have been we're, so cool. This is why we're here. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> shenanigans like this is exactly why you didn't talk. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, right. I could make the good play, but I could make the cool yeah, play. Yeah, I could make the good play, but I could make <laughs> the play that exactly may put me on the map. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's yeah, just sitting there all pretty. Yep, yep, for sure. How many of those? Let's see. I'm curious how many of those he actually cited. Probably three. Is three, yeah. Number. So yeah, he does number. have... Does have access to one more still. I mean, he doesn't even need it. I think this is the, this was the turn to play it because now the swing back is going to be rough mm -hmm. for Frisco. Um, he's arriving the Beerus to kill the Gogeta 7. 30k or lower, yep. And the second Beerus to kill. So he cleared the board. He did exactly what we said he'd do. Yep, yep. Which is obviously the correct play to make. Mm -hmm. But yeah. now Joey seems like he's going to run away with it. Frisco... Does not seem like he has the answers to this deck. Yeah, and he doesn't have that many cards left in his hand either. He was oh. kind of counting on those barrier board presence to kind of get him there. Joey's very, very, very smart. You can tell he's played the matchup a lot, mm -hmm. comboing his board like that. Most players would be way too terrified to sacrifice their board yep, yep. that way because that's uh, three 20k attackers that he got rid of, or two and 20k attackers and a 15k attacker. And the fact that he saved up his combo to, to when he knew he could get the most value out of it. Yep. Next, if we look at his hand, it doesn't look like he has any big bombs or anything. Gonna pay two for the Broly to pop okay, one of the so Beerus's. He so he's gonna get a little bit, or he's just gonna tap it. But uh, yeah, it actually can't kill the Beerus anymore because he has six energy. Yep. You're gonna pay two for another one, and he discards a card. Maybe just playing around with the food there. All right, so it looks like he's at least gonna live through this turn. 
And although those Broly's, as good as they are, they are only single strike. Yep, and they're, they're, they're big, but they don't do anything else now. Yep. Vanilla, 25 kids? I believe so, yeah. So, I mean, Joey doesn't have cards in hand either, but he is going to be able to uh, push for critical 10k mm -hmm. casually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And uh, his uh, his surge ability is a much more of a safety net than the Piccolo one is too. So the Piccolo one can ramp, but it doesn't. Uh, it has it, a one other effect. Uh, it discard your opponent discards two cards out of their hand, which is actually bad. might be relevant which here. Is pretty good. Yeah. Like if you do it on your turn, then you await to your opponent's turn. You do it on mm -hmm. your opponent's turn as well. That could be pretty explosive. Mm -hmm. Unless it's it once per turn on uh, our active battle. It's active battle, so you can actually do it on your yep. opponent's turn. Yep, yep. Make him discard four cards and just run away with the game. So maybe those Broly's could kill the Beerus's. If, unless he has another topo. If he has another topo, then it's just unlucky. Looks like it is once per turn, so you'd have to do it on his turn and uh, then and his opponent's yeah, turn. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So if he has another topo right here, I think the game is Joey's, but if he doesn't, he doesn't. Uh, what just happened? Uh, looks like he's just swinging in. Oh, he took the health. He's, he's going for game. He's not going to clear the board. Oh, my God. Joey has so many cards in hand. It's insane. <laughs> and he used his surge ability already. Yeah, he used his surge ability. They both have already surged. Yep, yep. Now they're unshoved. Crisco has to think really hard here. Yeah, yeah. He's very dead if he doesn't win. <laughs> if he doesn't win. Yeah, he's got. He's got. Yeah, I feel like if, he, especially if he doesn't clear the board. Yeah, he can't. He still can't over. untap energy though. That's mm -hmm. the thing. He's still locked down by that TN. So good in the matchup. I think he's asking because he doesn't have a multicolor in his discard. I think he's asking if he can surge remove that one. Oh, he's asking if it still comes in play untapped. I think. Even at the thing, which I believe it does. Yeah, because it, it's, well, I mean, it says negate It just says energy negate exhaust. energy exhaust, right? Yeah. yeah. Put a multicolor in your energy, negating yeah. energy exhaust. Mm -hmm. So the TN doesn't stop you from playing uh, playing energy untapped. It just stops mm -hmm. you from untapping energy that are already tapped. Yeah. So it should be fine. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering what the issue here is. Seems to be talking about something. Yeah. Joey has a problem. I'm wondering if did he play both those Broly's last turn? Yeah. Why? Does he only have one yellow energy? Is that maybe what the problem is? I think that might be what the problem oh, is. Yeah, I think he Broly might have paid incorrectly for the Broly. The Broly is. And he clearly couldn't have untapped it because the TN, TN was down. Oh, yep, chat's yelling at us for it. Well, there is a judge on there. It's yeah. Us. All right, well, I mean, they're going to see what they're going to do. It's uh, basically going to be the reset stage. I mean, the re yeah, it looks like they're resetting it. So basically, he get an extra attack. Yeah, well, they can reset the it because all that happened was that uh, all that Frisco did was draw a card. Uh -huh. So it's not a big deal. He's going to look at his hand, rip a card out of his hand, mm -hmm. and then they're just going to resume wh where they were. That's pretty... Well, actually, they took it life. Actually, this might be too far gone. Yeah, I don't know. Because, uh... Yeah. I don't know, because that wouldn't be... Oh, okay, he's going to take a card out of... Okay, I see what you mean. So, that's he puts the super combo back. Well, yeah, for those of you that don't know, if someone draws a card they're not supposed to draw in uh, in this game, the ruling is that your opponent gets to look at your hand, take whatever card they want, and it gets shuffled back into the deck. Well, I think they just tried to figure out. It's one of the perks of being teammates. You're very amical about situations like these. That's true, yeah. And uh, they just worked it out, figured out what's fair. Ripping a super combo from his hand is probably game, uh, game winning. That's uh, pretty good because now he knows exactly what threats to play also, around that's to. True. Yeah. The information is more valuable than ripping the super combo out itself. Yeah. But. Uh, I'm going to try to figure out, I think, what energy was tapped. They're just going to play it out here. Mm -hmm. Pay one. 
He's no longer on your team, if I'm not mistaken, or is he? Uh, he is, because this is still that same turn, I believe. Okay. Yeah, because he's now he, they went back so that he can attack with that Beerus that was originally tapped down by the Broly. Mm -hmm. Uh, the King he couldn't have Senzu'd the Yellow back because he was under Tien. Yeah, this is kind of an awkward one to. Uh, Move forward there, and I think he's just going to pass turn on top of his energy and probably kill him. Um, I don't think Frisco can stop this next turn. His energy, his yellow energy is tapped, so he can't, um, can't Nimbus. Mm -hmm. It's going to be just Joey trying to survive, but his hand is a lot bigger than Frisco's hand. Yeah. Those are rough. I really think that he played Gogeta too early. I think that was one of the big things in this game. Because uh, Joey was able to get his hand back almost immediately, which was a, uh, a pretty big deal. I don't think Frisco has anything else to play. It's probably just going to be past turn and try not to die. But because Joey knows what's in his hand, it's probably just going to be a quick kill. Everything on board's a threat. Mm -hmm. um, if he TNs him again, he just wins. But oh, for sure, we'll yeah. See. But I, I don't th think he had it in his hand last time we oh, checked. He's going to be able to draw a good amount of cards. He probably has another monkey in grave. Mm. Oh, that's true. So he'll get to draw two off that. I'm actually pretty sure he does have one more in grave. Because mm -hmm. I only see one in the warp. All right, so he's going to... Charge gonna energy, half four. Is he going to play the android? He is going to play the android. Interesting, okay. Okay, so he's going to use it to get rid of something. Boom. All right, so I'll have to see. We'll have to see if the crack back here is enough. He is tapped out, which is pretty big. But he's no longer under TN. He'll be able to surge, however, and uh, mm -hmm. get that energy back. That's true. But even at that, one one energy, three life, I, I don't and know. And only like three or four cards in your hand? Yeah, I don't know. He does have two attackers. Mm -hmm. There's the cooler. Ooh, and so there's the says, cooler, yeah. No, try again. And he's still got to take the life, so now he's in double strike range. So now it's if he has a chomp, he just wins instantly. Yeah. Uh, Frisco had to risk it for the biscuit, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, granted, I would have probably just let this one hit me and then d try to dimension magic out two life. Yeah, I, to one. I feel like no matter what he did, that was getting coolered anyways. Yeah, but now if he has a chompa, it's a leader attack, so you can't interact and with there's the Yeah, there's the chompa, yep. So now it's going to be the good old classic dumperoo. Yep. Where he's going to give himself plus 10k if he still has any surge abilities. Does he? No, he doesn't, actually. No, nope, so yeah, He doesn't no. have any surge. But he is going to play a Bardock Ape off of that. Foo, which I don't know if charging that to the, or combo away is the best, considering you can... Yeah, that is interesting, because that was another another double strike he could have played this turn. It is a double strike. Um, okay. He'll get an energy back and mm -hmm. see what he can do. Again, he knows what his hand is, so... Okay, so he gets the yellow. Yep. He might have Nimbus in hand. I don't know why he didn't go all in here. I'm very, I'm very surprised that he played that foo. He must have another overall. Oh, and there it is right there. Yep. Yep. That's the game all tied up. He had a few more attacks, but it probably had the mirror in hand as well. Mm -hmm. That would be my guess since yeah. he comboed with the overall. Probably player. had the mirror as well. But mm -hmm. I, I feel like going all in there was the correct play. He could have tapped one for the mirror to give a plus 10k as well and just end the game. Either way, um, a little bit of a roly-poly there at the end. But mm -hmm. Joey won it either way, so not yep, too yep. rough. Not too rough. Um, but yeah, I think that game was was pretty interesting. Um, we'll be back. We're gonna interview. Um, we're gonna interview Joey. Okay. One. So yeah, we're gonna give him a quick interview. Ask him about the matchup. Ask him if he test played. Uh, just these kind of questions. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be back in a bit. See you soon. Sounds good. All right, guys, welcome back. We're here with the winner of his first game, Joey. Uh, tell us what how you felt uh, throughout that matchup. Yeah, I mean, guys, sorry, it was a rough game. I mean, obviously, you know, the whole TN thing was really rough. There's, there's no sugarcoating it. But, I mean, uh, it, was a, it was a good game. I mean, first goal, my teammate, it was unfortunate we had to play each other. But I think it's a rough matchup for him just because my leader deals with Gogeta inherently. And, you know, I defend my life total high. So, Gogeta isn't the most impactful. But, uh, 
but yeah, I mean, it was a fun game. It was great to play against a friend, even though it sucks I had to knock him out. But did you ever uh, feel feel uneasy when he had both those pickles on board? Did yes, like, uh, yes, I did like, until I realized I could uh, answer his board to remove the bond. But then he had another the other nail to come back and play. But then I ended up answering that, mm. and that was like a really risky play. I wasn't sure if it was the right play. Yeah. But I felt like I had such a high tempo turn that it was worth it, and it, it, it ended up being worth it in the end. So. Sure. Who are you dreading to play against? <laughs> what deck? Ah, Hatch. I do not want to play against Hatch. It's so it's not unwinnable by any means. It's just mm. it's so frustrating to play against that deck. Okay, cool. Any uh, anti Hatch tech you have? Any oh uh, Hatch tech? Uh, the sideboard, yeah. Like like a whole a whole eight cards comes in from the sideboard. Wow. So it, I had to completely change up my game plan. Okay. Uh, Foo shrouded is big. Battle to the death is big. It answers their boss monsters, wow. so uh, that works out really well. All right. Thank you, Joey. Hopefully, uh, we get to see you again on stream in uh, the finals. Yeah, hopefully I don't That's mess up dream. again. All right, thanks for the interview. Thank you. Take care. We'll see you guys in a bit uh, for round two. Thanks, guys. Hello, and welcome back. We're here with top 16 player, Frisco. Fr uh, what up? Frisco Faz. Faz? Yes. Faz. Um, so, how did you uh, enjoy your tournament experience? It was great. I had a great time. I was running very smooth. I have no complaints whatsoever. It was uh, one of the best tournaments I ever went to as far as um, everything, that's as far as scheduling. And Big yeah. shout out to Top Cut Events. They yeah. know how to host a tournament. That's, that's sure. just facts. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, so getting to play in this, for, uh, in this format, in this tournament, obviously it's the first time we have Surge Leaders. Yep. It's the first time we have a lot of stuff. Um, the, Drax, the draft box cards, in my opinion, shine very much. Yep. Um, especially in this format, the Piccolo is insane that uh, Vegeta is mm -hmm. probably one of the MVPs of this uh of yeah. this tournament. So uh, what do you think? You got to play, you played Piccolo Surge. What do you yes. think uh, your matchups were, how, how you dealt with them, and uh, tell us a little bit about where you think the format's headed. Yeah, so as far as matchups spread for Piccolo Surge, I played two Hatch EX. Um, the, I won those. A Violent Predator is a good card against it. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Andrew 21. Uh, I played, I lost against one, or I, t I drew against a baby, uh, okay. baby aggro, and I drew against a Brawly Surge. Mm -hmm. Then I won against the Mirror, and what other game did I win? I forget. Oh, try color search goo. I won. Yeah. So oh that would wow. be yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's good. Yeah. It's a good spread. Yeah. And uh, what oh. do you think your worst matchup, your best matchup? So I think um, against uh, like my worst matchup was like super aggro, maybe like a Demigra type thing. Yeah. The surge goo's rough because um, if you get them below five life, you're enabling their surge ability, which mm. then kind of ruins your Piccolo's play. That's so you're fair. you're kind of stuck in between. Exactly. So what I learned for the tournament is I'm running the wrong secret rare. I have to <laughs> run. I'm run, You have to no more SS4 Vegeta. I got to run Awaken Power. Just he revive them, keep them low hand, warp it, and then just play Awaken Power and just go for game and leave them at eight life. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> Man, that, that's, that's literally it. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, just, and then you could just hard cast it on and just go for game. Yeah. And just because like I, I was, you know, how many times have you seen me? I was at six or seven or eight. eight, eight yeah, I cruising. could have been there. You're cruising there. Yeah. 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 And, you know, and you could just do that and keep a piccolo on board and just, just. Very reliant on seeing your secret rare, though, but. Yeah. I, I think. You still have that mid range of the Gogeta 7. How did the Gogeta 7 fare for you this tournament? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, it, it's not only the finisher, but it just lets you control the games. I've used it a lot of times with like. Doing that, keeping them one hand and just starving them with hand and just mm. crack banking the following turn, For not sure. over committing. I think that's the biggest lesson learned from this tournament is knowing when to commit and not to commit because yep. you get crushed pretty bad if the, you commit. Uh, yeah, the search coup's ability to negate skills on yes. board, how crucial do you think that is coming up in the next formats? And do you think it's enough to keep him? Because a lot of people say he's the weaker surge leader, but right now he's just uh, <sighs> good because he's strong. So if you're not, not, you're not too sure how to play the decks, he's yeah. the helmet one. But. Um, no, we I, saw I, that that because negating skills is good, right? Yeah. I think I think it's gonna stay a little bit good, but at the same time, I feel like the pickle leader is gonna find a better spot. Yes. A higher up. I think as we get more cards introduced and everything, I think red yellow is very strong coming into mm -hmm. it. You know, with just a card pool, and I think as because red yellow is strong in the format right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Right, and then you just give that to that leader, like, yep. oh, cool. One thing that Beerus struggled with, they had no way to get rid of piccolos. If you stick a piccolo mm -hmm. on board, and Beerus is like, okay, I guess I right. just lose, because yeah. mm -hmm. the red had no way of getting it. And then when you're red yellow, you have battle to the death. You have the ability to negate. Stuff like that. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I, th I still think Surge is going to be somewhat relevant next set. I don't think it's just totally going to go away. I don't think that's true. Fair. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you think Bulma will ever make a comeback? <laughs> Bulma, 
Did she? Did, was she? Did, did she arrive? Oh my god, that's toxic, <laughs> man. That's my girl. Why are you hating? <laughs> I I was a huge fan of Bulma. I love. I that was my Draw first. Draw two, please. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty I, good. Uh, I liked Bulma a lot with just the the two drop Gohan that untaps yellow battle cards at the end of your turn. So like you know you get the Vegeta twenty k red yellow after the Bulma dies, mm -hmm. right? And then they have the two drop barrier Gohan that basically at the end of your turn you untap. So you have blockers yep. and attackers every turn. It c is that is that and how did that? It, it fared well. Yeah. It struggled to close games because you have no true finisher. Yeah, I feel yeah. that that was that's what it was when I played Bulma as well. There's yeah. just no finisher. Exactly, yeah. and like I even put heartfelt plea in the deck, but resolving that was kind of difficult in the deck too, and it was it, was, it just it struggles to find a way to win. Fair. Yeah. I uh, I tried to build a. Uh, Ape Bulma, so you spam yep. out the, the the red apes, the new red apes, the GT ones. Yep, yep. Spam those out with Planet Vegeta on board. Obviously, use the arrival uh, King Vegeta, and yep. you just evolve from the set three Vegeta. Or yep. Something. And uh, it doesn't. It's pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty bad, but uh, it was yeah. fun. It was it was fun. I have to say. And that's the cool thing about it. Just building decks that are fun. It doesn't always have to be the most amazing deck, but you know. It's yeah, it was definitely fun to play. Yeah. yeah. Especially winning with like tier eight is fun. Yes. But you get to talk <laughs> a lot of smack when you beat someone playing a tier one deck. Yeah, exactly. That's the most fun part like, of it all. Uh, Got smoked. Got smoked, kid. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I think I think this tournament showed a lot, showcased a lot of cards. I think it's gonna affect all the market on a lot of cards as well. Like yes. the Vegeta, I think is for sure gonna go up. He's already at fifty five, but I think he's even more. Wow. Yeah, he, he's more than UI. It's gonna yeah. be then. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna keep going up. UI, I think, is gonna start going down because it's not bomb format anymore. I've been saying it all all stream. I think it's uh. It's like it's widespread format. Yeah. Decks that go wide get rewarded, um, except against Hatchiak, obviously. Exactly. But um, there's a lot of yeah. cards that uh, counteract both strategies. I think UI will stay up there just because there's no other card that does what it does. Well, no, it'll, it it won't go back to four hundred dollars. Yeah. What I'm yeah. Saying. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I think it'll still ri stick around fifty bucks. Yeah, I that's probably the fair rate. And it's a hero revive target. So Most like, like SRs or whatever for the from the draft box should be around there because they're so difficult to get. I know. Like the pull rates on. On these drop box cards are insane. It was a struggle. It was an extreme struggle. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That's fair to say. Um, who do you think is going to win this tournament, man? You've seen the Ooh. decks. You've seen everybody play. Tyler's killing it, man. Mm -hmm. Tyler's killing it right now. You think he's too hot to stop right now? Uh, who, did he just is, uh, he just beat um, no, Jose? He just beat Jose. Yeah. So um, he was he's also playing Search Coup. Uh, Jose was playing baby. No, no, no. Uh, oh, no. Tyler. Yeah, was Tyler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jose he's is been on baby. fire. I don't even know if he dropped the game. Or he hasn't dropped the game yet. He hasn't yeah. dropped the game yet. Yeah. Um, so he's he's flaming through uh, this event. Uh, that makes I think three search coups that make top eight. Yeah. Um. So we're at three search coups. Did the other Piccolo win? I have no idea. No, not yet. Okay. He played Hatchik. He probably had a good matchup. Uh, he didn't. Peter is playing. Um, Brawly Surge, isn't he? Brawly Surge, I think. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. But yeah, br the the only game we're still waiting on is Peter um, Peter Katani's game. He's playing Hatchiak, so <laughs> we're in time. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Go figure. Who would have thunk, right? I'll make sure to get that game on stream for you guys next. <laughs> Everyone yeah. wants to see J uh, Hatchiak on stream. Really? Uh, no, definitely oh, not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I honestly didn't catch a sarcasm. I'm like, really? <laughs> no, but you know what? We had a, a Hatchiak game um Earlier, it was actually with the, the gentleman I just commentated the last round with. Yep. His Hatchiak game was really entertaining to watch because he got, like, turn four playing Hatchiak. <laughs> or, sorry, that's not true. He got, like, turn five to playing Hatchiak, turn six. Um, oh, was it 21 and just ramping into Violent Predator? It nuked his Violent, uh, Violent Predator, nuked his energy, yeah. and we were just like, what are you going to do? You're like, ah! F. <laughs> yeah. It was rough. Um, but then he sided in some good anti-tech, and he okay. actually managed to take a game off in game two. Okay. So that's why everyone was getting pretty excited <coughs> because um, – he managed to play the Dendes properly, uh, but game three, he got three of his Dendes, Vegeta the Cruel. So it was good games. Yeah. Um, but nevertheless, <laughs> it, yeah, was that, it was rough. It was rough to find. He actually could have won the game if he uh, he saw uh, he, this is Demigra instead of seeing his um, Fu shrouded. Yeah. If he saw the Fu shrouded, he had it because he saw Demigra. Yeah, it, you, just, you just shroud it and then yeah. you pass a turn and then Demigra next turn. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. You Fu shroud and kill him. Oh, because, yeah. Oh, because he had two? Because okay. he had negates in hand. Yeah, okay. So. Okay. It was it was just it was just sad, but Got that's, that's you. fair. So yeah, no, I think set nine is gonna be pretty fun. I no, set nine is gonna definitely be exciting. Yeah, I'm, I think a, I'm excited for red blue. What, uh, what do you think? Other, uh, do you have any speculations on what the other leaders might be, or what they ooh, might do, or what other things gonna get strong? Jiren is just Jiren is insane. He's on another level. He's insane. And I think the funniest takeaway out of this, like what's happening so far, is how how phased out Brawly Yellow leader is being phased out a little bit. Yeah, he's still on top. Is still like you know no, a thing. like his his leader is bonkers, but it's just I think self awakening, and then his he gets a little bit punished for what he does. And I just I think it's interesting how fast he's getting phased out because mm. at nationals last year I was like oh man this leader is this leader is bad for the game he just does too much but then well that's the thing with every set that comes out every side set that comes out the yeah. power creep just balances everything out exactly everything becomes more insane like 
I never thought there'd be an eight drop in the game that just nukes my opponent's board. And if I'm playing a black deck, <laughs> I just get a free win. Like that's crazy. You're like cool. That's crazy. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think it's gonna be really exciting. I can't wait for the other regionals that are coming up. Jersey's gonna be fun. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, Jersey's gonna be fun um, for sure. I think uh, what's it called? Vegas is gonna be insane. Yes. Vegas is gonna be very insane. So hopefully we get a chance. I get a chance to go out there and uh, mm -hmm. and and see everything, see everybody. It'll be a good time. Um, we're gonna be back. Uh, Frisco is going to be commentating the next match with me, so uh, you're gonna get more of uh, Frisco, happily, thankfully. And uh, <laughs> we're we'll be right back. We're gonna go choose the matchup for the stream. So uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. All right, talk to you guys soon.